Hi there. So a lot of people have been asking about how you might use Songsmith as a songwriter, as a musician. And while you might not want to make your final output in Songsmith, it's still really useful as a musical sketch pad. Where the idea is that you have a melody in mind, you use it to kind of come up with the chords you're going to use in your song, and then once you've got the chords, you take those to play on other instruments or take with take your band to play with uh, play with other people. Um, so I'm going to show you an example of how that works. So this is a song I'm working on called Appleseed, and um, let's see what it sounds like in Songsmith. If I bought you an apple seed, would you plant me a tree? If I left it all up to you, oh, what would that leave? What would that leave? So I've worked out some reasonable chords for this melody, but this isn't exactly the kind of sound that I want. Um, and I want something that has a little bit more guitar and a little bit more of a solid feel to it, a little bit more of a rock feel to it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export uh, the sounds that are in here. I'm going to export actually the MIDI that's coming out of here. I'm going to take it into a pro audio environment and I'm going to go to the next step and record some real instruments with this song. So let's go there. So I've got my guitar out. Um, I've got a Digitech RP200 that I'm using for effects on the guitar. And um, I've got it on set in kind of a fuzz setting, uh, which I think will work reasonably well for a song like this. It sounds kind of like this. And the chords that for the first four bars, for instance, go like, they go D minor, B flat major, and then we've got an A7, and then we go back to a D minor. So I'm thinking of a pattern that goes kind of like this. But now I'm going to play the chords with that style and that guitar effect into a pro audio production environment and then we're going to see where we can take it from there. So I'm using Ableton Live as my production environment. Here what I'm doing is I've brought in the MIDI track from the Songsmith file and I've decided to keep the drums and the bass um, but I've put them through VST instruments and some effects so the drums are going through uh, Groove Agent and they're going through some reverb and then the MIDI for the bass is going through um, this Juno style synth that comes with Ableton. Um, then I've recorded um, a guitar track uh, based on the style that I was showing you earlier and, um, and I've recorded a new set of vocals over this and added some effects to that too and then put some master effects in the whole thing. Um, and you know I'm still playing around with this for just some initial ideas but just kind of show you this is you know one more step in the evolution towards actually getting a complete song. So let's see what it sounds like when we put it all together. If I brought you an apple seed, would you plant me a tree? Brought you an apple seed. Would you plant me a tree? If I brought you an apple seed. Oh, what would that be? So clearly the song's not done. There's a lot more work to do, but hopefully this gives you a taste of what the steps are when you want to use Songsmith as a musical sketch pad and then move on to producing that into a full song. Um, the idea being that you can get your ideas down quickly into Songsmith and figure out the chords, and once you've got those, then take those and re-record them with real instruments, with other musicians, put them into a pro environment, and move on towards getting the full recording that you actually want for the song that you have in mind. In fact, this is the way that I use Songsmith a lot for my own music. I actually find it to be a very useful tool for this kind of work. And uh, I hope that you find it useful in this way too. So, thanks for listening.